this about RPM, airflow, and static pressure. Now, RPM, or revolutions per minute, is the number of times that in one minute that the fan turns. So, uh, going back to the example of the phobia, this one will turn a maximum of 700 times a minute. At maximum, uh, well, let's see, this is a three pin, so maximum voltage. It'll run at a maximum of 700, theoretically. Now, they, does, they state 700 RPMs, but generally speaking, fans will exceed or not exceed the stated number of RPMs. Most of the fans that I've, I've looked at, and it's only a small number out of my collection, um, actually will exceed the number sometimes by just a small amount, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 RPMs. Uh, and some of them will actually go 100 or 200 uh, RPMs above the stated uh, speed. Uh, so now we then we get to the question of airflow and static pressure. Now, RPMs definitely impact both airflow and static pressure, but there are other things that are going to determine whether a fan is airflow, static pressure, or a mix. So if we take a look at this fan, we can see that the um, blades are fairly wide and there's not a lot of space between them, right? And then if we look at this Zygmatec XLF fan, you can see there are huge gaps between the blades demonstrating that this is a um, fan for airflow and not for static pressure. One of the dead giveaways of, we, if you're not sure whether a fan is airflow or static pressure is, if you look at the, um, the listed specifications and it only shows you airflow and it doesn't show you static pressure, it's not a static pressure fan. Now, there are exceptions to the rule, uh, but that's generally a good rule of thumb that you can use to help you to decide whether a fan is one or the other. Now, I've got another example of an airflow fan, not quite as obvious, but still, um, it's, this is more of a hybrid between the two. This is a um, Vantech Stealth. And as you can see, there are large gaps, but the blades are also fairly wide and pitched, and they do tend to cut into the air more than a pure static pressure fan would. So, but yeah, this is still still more of an airflow fan than a static pressure fan. So you can think of airflow as movement. Airflow determines how much air the fan can move. Well, static pressure is important if you have obstructions like heat sinks or radiators in your case. So you can think of SP as power or force. Uh, fans that don't list static pressure usually, as I said, have poor static pressure. Um, or it's just not, maybe they, they're they not trying to sell it on that because it's not particularly powerful in that way. Um, airflow pan, fans are most often used for exhaust, while static pressure fans are also important at intake positions where there is a dust filter, mesh, or the barrier. However, if you are... Um, if you have a, a system built and there's a lot of pressure in the system that is affecting the airflow, you'll want a static pressure fan on exhaust as well because the airflow fan will not be able to pull that out if there's just you know maybe too many twists and turns and, and barriers to the movement of the, the air. Um, so, um, Fans for which neither airflow uh, nor static pressure are listed should generally be avoided because you don't know what you're getting. You may get something good, but if they're not going to give you the facts, you may end up with garbage that looks nice and doesn't do much of anything other than that. Um, let's see, what else? Not only does revolutions per minute play a, a role 
in our one a top role in performance of airflow and, and static pressure but also noise production but it's only one factor there are a lot of other factors such as the design of the fan uh, and the materials used for the fan and for the bearings and stuff so um but a fan with a higher maximum rpms will usually do better than a lesser fan usually not always uh, however you may need a static pressure fan like i said if there's a lot of resistance in the fan, um, case so as you can see um, a static pressure fan has very wide blades with very small gaps so that the air can't go backwards you know basically backwashing out of the uh, <clears throat> case between the spaces whereas the airflow fan has those large gaps and very pitched angles to move as much air as possible without resistance so when you're considering what kind of fan to buy, you need to look at how fast it goes. And you also have to look at, is it good for airflow or static pressure or some combination of the two of them? Again, if you need something to really force the air through like a barrier, a radiator, a mesh, uh, some kind of filter, heat sink, you want static pressure fans. If, however, you need to just exhaust air through a straight through system, then the airflow fan is going to be your best bet, unless you've got it running through mesh or some other fine barrier. Um, and finally, don't forget, uh, along with these things, also consider your needs as far as uh, noise. Because you don't want to buy a great fan that is just way too noisy for you to tolerate. It doesn't really bother me much until it gets really, really loud, but a lot of people are sensitive to these things. So make sure not to make the wrong choice. Hopefully the rest of the series is going to give you enough information to make the decisions you need to in order to choose the right fan for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video.